What's going on guys? So this is the Boss Audio 8 inch multimedia center. Um, it's a single den radio with an 8 inch display. This is the BCPA8. They do make a 9 inch and a 10 inch, but this is the 8 inch. Um, let me angle the screen down for you. So this is one of my actual favorite radios bosses ever came out with and i'm not a huge boss fan but i did start with a boss audio gt um oh what was a gt10 way back in the day you know we gotta start somewhere <clears throat> i need a radio for my work truck the android that i bought it was junk it had really bad signal terrible sounding and it just started spazzing out within six months and it was a highly recommended one. And I've seen that several times with those Chinese knockoff Android tablets that everyone's buying for their trucks. So I was like, you know what? I just put a dual in here, rep that for a little bit, but the sound quality wasn't there. And it didn't get super loud. Now I've got amplifiers that are going in this truck along with custom door panels that are being made. Um, I'm just slacking, I'm super busy, so I don't have a lot of time to do them. But I wanted something that had Apple CarPlay that was affordable, but also had Bluetooth and backup camera and things like that. So right now I don't have the backup camera hooked up, but that's going to be a separate video because it's a uh, tailgate integrated backup camera for trucks. A lot of people don't know those are a thing and they work really well. But this is a Apple CarPlay and Android Auto enabled radio for $185. I got mine on clearance for $160. So you can pick it up even cheaper than that possibly. It's got four different colors that you can go through. It's got a, a mute button. You can go through different sources. Right here, you've got the home button. You can go to iPhone, you got settings. The, the screen is very, very nice. It's that captive touch. So it's, you know, it's like touching a normal, like a older com touchscreen computer. You've got your EQ, I've just done some quick uh, EQ settings right now because I put it in last night. Uh, you got Bluetooth, display, you can do all kinds of display stuff. You got all your subwoofer, your loudness, your internal amp, you got your cameras, how to set those up the way you want them. You got tons of features that you can do, like general, you got you know your time zone and everything, you can change it. Um, power delay, you can uh, go to display, you can come down here and change the panel LEDs so you can make them whatever color you want. You got night night brightness that you can work on. There's a lot of stuff and it's you know very simple. It's laid out very well. The CarPlay works really well with the maps. Um, I've never used CarPlay until this radio and I was going to show y'all but unfortunately this phone I was going to use it on is dead needs a good charge so there is two usbs one for charging and like usb uh, media only and then the other one is for apple and android on the back of the radio i actually am missing my beauty panel back here because i normally run a double den and i didn't keep it so i've got to get a new one of those it's 15 bucks uh for a whole kit and i'll just take that piece out but this thing fits really well i i like that i can angle it and when i'm driving when I'm driving, it's right there. I don't have it, it's not tilted way over to the side. And if I want, I can raise it up. Here, let me show y'all. You can, so you can take and raise it up or you can bring it down. You can put it where you want it. And that's really a good feature because like on a nine and 10 inch, when you shift, you could be hitting it like i know on the cat eyes and the round body style it does kind of hit so you got to be careful with that but the good thing is this does move so you can move it around to where it doesn't hit the screen very hard and it doesn't obscure your vision but i think for a 160 dollars it is a great apple carplay radio even for two uh, i think normally they're 250 399 and 500 depending on the size i see them you know, 350 is about the price I'm saying they're worth uh, for the 10 inch. I say the 8 inch is worth about 200 bucks, and the 9 inch is somewhere in between. Personal preference wise, no. And before anyone says it, Boss Audio is garbage. Look, 
Boss Audio isn't the best, but they do make a decent product, and I've seen these in several big builds that I've done, and they hold up to the base. So I'm not gonna say that they're the best, but they're not the worst, because that Android I bought for $100, it didn't even last a year. Very upsetting. Now, some people are gonna say, well, what about when the the um, when you're off-roading and it's shaking around? This is actually pretty sturdy, to be honest. Yeah, it's gonna move a little bit, but it's not gonna be terrible. And as far as longevity, I, I don't expect these to last forever um, because they're like a tablet. So I, I'm guessing if I get three years out of it, I'll be super happy. Um, I'm sure they'll probably last a little bit longer than that. I think Brandon, uh, he had his for over two years and it was running strong. He had the 10 inch on a Tahoe and he beat the heck out of that Tahoe. So I highly recommend these guys. Um, I'll leave a link to them on Amazon. They're a little bit more and you can find them used on marketplace a lot. So that's where I would probably look and some people buy them and just never use them. But Walmart does have the eight inch on clearance at a lot of places. I know everywhere is like 185 and some places like I got it at 160 and they're about to clearance again so they'll be even cheaper. This was the last one my Walmart had, that's why I got it. So if you have any questions guys, comment below. It does have three output, four volt RCAs. It's got front, rear camera inputs. It's got um, backup obviously. It's I'm trying to think, AV in, it can play movies. It can do all kinds of stuff. Um, navigation obviously, speed sensor. You know, it's got all the normal features that you're going to get from a double den. That's CarPlay. Um, and all these apps are going to, you know, all these apps are going to generate depending on what phone you have. So, like, um, when you're in Apple CarPlay, which I can't do right now, you'll have your apps. And then with Android Auto, you'll have your apps. So, just depends if you have an Android or an Apple CarPlay. Uh, just, you know, whatever you have up, like navigation or music, that's going to be your apps that are popping up. And realistically... I don't think you can really touch a uh, Apple CarPlay radio right now that's this good for under 300 bucks. So it's a deal. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoy. All right, so I can actually record while being an Apple CarPlay. It's a little bit glitchy, but it give you the gist of it. So uh, I'm gonna swipe over. It's gonna take a minute, but we got phone maps, Spotify. Um, go back over. We got podcast. We can go to the boss radio now play in news calendar settings um and pull up navigation and take a second like i said it's normally not laggy it's just right now it's laggy um because i am recording at the same time i can go to spotify and you can pick whatever you want music wise recently played whatever but honestly for an apple carplay radio and like i said it only is like this because i'm recording so like we can see everything that i've listened to my son's listened to um pick some music and play it and it's probably gonna knock me off the thing so but that's the basic features guys you know it is a basic apple carplay but it works really well, and I have to say I enjoy it. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below.